It is the 12th of the 12th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOP.net. Draft UN Climate Accord emerges. Debate turns ugly. The chairwoman of the UN Climate Talks urged delegates to approve a compromise deal on fighting global warming in the interests of the planet. But an accord remained elusive on Sunday, and rich and poor states traded barbs over the limited scope of the package. South African Foreign Minister uh, said the four separate texts represented a good outcome for two weeks of sometimes angry debates in the port city of Durban. I think we all realize that I think we all realize they are not perfect, but we should not let them perfect. We should not let the perfect become the enemy of the good and the possible, she told the conference. And, of course, you know, they're fighting over who pays what and who gets what. And uh, the insanity that is the, the new carbon tax that they're going to try choking down everybody's throat. A uh, 6.2 earthquake in the South Sandwich Island regions. Um, that's in the South Pacific, south of New Zealand. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the extinction protocol, the only thing I really wanted to cover on there was a global economic collapse. The unfortunate day the brakes finally fail. This story comes out of London. The telegraph sounded alarm bells late Friday in the Eurozone, that the Eurozone banking system is on the edge of collapse. Specifically, the problem is related to a lack of acceptable collateral or collateral crunch for overnight and other short-term banking funding. Emphasis added, senior analysts and traders warned impending bank failures as a summit intended to solve European crisis failed to deliver a solution that eased concerns over bank funding. And they're going to blame the Brits on this one, but it's all according to plan. You better believe it. And of course there are videos abound. And that's about the only thing different they have going on tonight. Over to the Watchers. Uh, where to go? United Kingdom on severe weather alert as two major storm systems are approaching. The storm pattern is very dangerous this next week across the United Kingdom as two storm systems approach the area from the west. Uh, these storm systems have central surface low pressure readings that a, of a major hurricane, including one by the end of the week being equivalent to a Category 4 hurricane according to the weather service. There's potential for some severe disruption from both storms. No kidding. Much like the storm you just had. And uh, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. I got another story. NASA says that the world is not at risk December 21st, 2012. Well, I feel better. NASA says that everything's going to be okay. And that's about the only thing new they have tonight. Over to the RSOE. Um, of course, we had the earthquake in Mexico. Um, apparently they're reporting two deaths, uh, flash floods in Queensland, Australia, continue, um, severe thunderstorms, and, uh, Mount Kilauea, the Royal Gardens neighborhood subdevelopment has starting to be inundated by lava, and of course there's some forest, national forests around there too as well, and, uh, they have the law where you can't stop the lava flow, so it's just, you know, here it is again. Uh, they built these houses way too close to this volcano. Flash flooding reports out of Sweden. So here comes that storm that just passed out um, over Britain and uh, you know, in Ireland. And cold wave out of India. And that's about all new they have going on tonight. Over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, E&E News. Uh, we got a headline top. Government official admits no one trusts radiation measurements by the Japanese government. And again, they've already admitted that they don't, they're not actually taking measurements. They, they're doing computer-generated uh, simulations off of Westinghouse computer models. Um, so they really, they're just guessing, folks. My university is annoyed with me, quote-unquote, after air filter from Japan so radioactive it must be buried at radioactive waste disposal sites in the United Na in uh, the US 
Now this is the video Arnie Gunderson just put out. I will attach a link to that video, of course. It's linked on this one um, where he talked about this one guy actually stood up. He was talking about, I'm not 100%, I don't remember his name. But yeah, yeah, he's saying uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty close right there. And he's the guy that, that follows the dust around. Researcher discuss uh, hot particles of americium found in Tokyo comes from plutonium. And they have a video on that as well. Major report on plutonium published by Manachi by expert senior writer. And now they're going into the dangers uh, that there are no benefits to plutonium whatsoever. Um, the largest stockpile of plutonium right now is the United Kingdom. Congratulations, kids. Uh, you are planning on digging a big hole by 2040 and throwing it into it. Um, that's pretty much your game plan. And that is about all I have tonight. So uh, just remember, enjoy what you can, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.